Hi, just a quick video here because I found this old Princeton Tech EOS headlamp and I've actually done a video on this. I don't know, I don't think this was the modified one I did, but I've done a video reverse engineering and modifying and upgrading this, uh, well, a Princeton Tech um, EOS headlamp. But anyway, it doesn't work and it's a tad crusty. So let's have a look at it. Now you can probably see problems already. <laughs> um, what on earth is going on inside that lens assembly? Well, let's take it apart and find out. It's one sick puppy. Wait until you see this. Look at that, all right? Inside, you can see that, yeah, that's crusty as, right? <laughs> that is crusty burger. But wait until you see this. Oh, this is glorious. A thing of beauty. Joy forever. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> what on earth is that? Have you ever seen a crustier bit of electronics? Leave it in the comments down below. Wow. Uh, the board is almost unrecognizable. That is terrible, Muriel. Wow. Look at this. Obviously, it's had water ingress and it's just maybe salt. Water ingress. I can't remember where this headlamp came from or what it where where it's last used. You know, it usually wouldn't get this like you know if I took a canyon in or something like that. It's usually pretty uh, fresh water. Like you wouldn't expect this sort of. Um, it's just eaten everything away. Wow. What the? It's just. It's <laughs> Chemists out there, please. What what has gone wrong with this thing? Oh my goodness, that poor switch. <laughs> it's just everything. It is so crusty. Wow. Look, just look at all that crap. Look, look, check out all that crud. All that crud. I mean, that's, you know, obviously, right? Batteries have leaked or something, but I've never seen, right? That amount of uh, carnage before. And considering that, like, the, the batteries are on this side, Right? And, you know, there doesn't seem to be, oh, yeah, mate, yeah, it's probably, it's probably just battery leakage and it's, it's gotten right down there, but maybe in combination with something else, because I've never seen it that bad. Or was it such a bad battery leakage that, oh, I can't, come on, is it seriously, like, I can try and clean this up, <laughs> like, it is, it is not going to work. <laughs> this is insane. Look at this. There we go. Wouldn't surprise me if parts just fell off. Like... Wow. Oh yeah, is there, there a resistor gone down there? R1? That's gone, Ski. That <laughs> resistor is like totally eaten away. Just totally gone. Oh wow. You gotta be kidding me. Look at that. Well, our one could have been missing, of course, but yeah, maybe it's yeah. It, it just seems more than is it just battery chemistry? Oh, look, all the <laughs> all the um the en enamel, all the enamel markings on top of the resistors. Look, that they've all just come off. <laughs> so now the resistors are see-through. They're transparent. <laughs> they've lost all their ohmski. There's nothing left. <laughs> That is terrible. <laughs> Unbelievable. Have you ever seen anything that crusty in your life? That is absolutely amazing. So yeah, maybe. Oh, look at that. Blah. Um, so yeah, battery, alkaline battery leakage, classic, but it's seeped through down here, under, through, you know, it doesn't seem to be much of a huge path down in. Oh yeah, maybe under there. And across and up and then but then it's got to get on the top side it's got to get everywhere and it's all under the lead mount there there we go there's the heat sink under that wow look at that wow unbelievable unbelievable have you ever seen such carnage leave it in the comments down below that is the crustiest thing i think i've ever seen wow <laughs> Hope you liked it. <laughs> Give it a thumbs up. Catch you next time.